Okay, so you guys have probably heard, um, a lot of times you hear like in commercials, like, oh, this grew by 24%, or 23% um, fewer allergy symptoms if you take this pill or something like that, you know? So what we're doing, uh, um, the, the number they're giving you is, is that number after they calculate the percent of change. So let's say we had 40 and it decreased to um, 30. Okay. Step one is to determine how much it changed. So determine the change. Okay. So, how much did it change if it went from 40 to 30? Hmm. Okay, no. Changed by 10. You can just look at it and see, but Let's say they're numbers that we can't just figure out just by looking at. We could always go 40 minus 30 equals 10, okay? Because 40 minus 10 is 30, right? It decreased by 10, okay? So, step two. You're going to figure out the percent of the change to how much we started with. So how much did we change? How much did we change in this one? Hmm. How much, Noreen? We changed 10. And how much did we start with? 40. 40. We have 10 and 40. Oh, OK. So remember, the number on top is the, is the amount of change. And the first one is the amount we started with. I call it the starting amount. Can we now figure out a percent with this, with this ratio? That's fine. We can. How are we going to do that? How are we going to figure out the percent? Yeah, we can simplify. We don't have to, but yeah, we will. And I, I'm not going to simplify for the, on this one just to, to show that we're using it. And it's not that much diff, more difficult with this because all you're doing is simplify is taking off the zeros. So we're going to divide. Remember, the number on the top goes on the inside of our house. The number on the bottom goes on the outside. Now, 40 doesn't go into um, 10, but 40 can put my decimal. 40 goes into 100. 2 times, 2 times 40 is 80. When I subtract, I get um, 20. Add a new 0, bring it down. 40 goes into 200, 5 times 25, or sorry, 5 times 40 is 200, 0. So my decimal is 0.25. How do I make that a percent? Step three, make the decimal a percent. How do I do that? Austin. Move it over twice. Boom. So I now have 25%. So when 40 decreased to 30, the amount it changed was 25%. Okay. 
That's what we're trying to figure out on this one. Now, there's one more type of problem you'll probably see, and you'll see when something increases to. So we'll say that, um, we'll say 42 increased to 72. Okay, 42 increased to 72. So 42 increased to 72. How much did this change? How much did this change? 30, because remember we do our subtraction sentence. 72 minus 42 equals 30. We use subtraction to figure out how much it changed. Then we have to set up our fraction, you know, our ratio basically to figure out the change and how much we start with to, to, to figure out our percent. So what's my ratio? What's, what's it going to look like? McKenna, 30 over 70, sorry, not 72, sorry, 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 I was a little wrong. I jumped the gun. 30 over 42. 42, yeah. Oops, that was my fault. Because, come on, 30 over 42. Because it's the change, which is 30, over the starting amount. We started with 42, didn't we? Okay, we started with 42. It's not just what's the first number of the subtraction sense. It's what amount we started with. Okay? All right. Now I know I can, I can divide. So I'm going to go 30 divided by 42. Okay, so I'm going to put my 0 right in there. And how many times does 42 go into 300? It goes in there seven times. Seven times, um, that's 14. Put that right up there. Seven times four is 28, 29. When I subtract, I get six. Take a zero, add a zero after the decimal, bring it down. It goes in there only one time. Yeah. And that's 42. Can't quite see. Let me move that. Goal. Okay. 60 minus 42 is 18. Bring down another zero. It goes in there, what, five times? No. Four times. That's eight. That's 16. And we also get what? Um, 12 again? No, no, sorry. That's 7. That's 2, so 12. Bring down my other 0. So as we can see, it's going to keep going. But look, I move my decimal over two places. So 0.714. Move it over, it's 71.4%. Okay? 71.4%. We're not going to keep on going. Okay? So the key is you figure out how much it changed using a subtraction sentence. Then you set up your ratio or your, like your fraction, it looks like a fraction, with how much it changed <laughs> over how much you started with. Then you divide. When you divide, you'll get a decimal, move the decimal over twice. That's how we calculate the percent of change.